Good morning, afternoon or evening and welcome back to Factorio here on Edenia. Um, we're going to play some more. We're going to uh, finish this assembly line for the red potions. And I just want to take a moment away from the machines to um, say that I really appreciate all the comments I've gotten on the uh, on the first episode in particular. Uh, thank you very much for those comments. Um, uh, I see people looking forward to a season two of this game. Uh, of this series and I couldn't agree more. I really love this game and the recent additions have made me want to play it some more. So yeah, I hope you're uh, you're with me for the adventure. So let's take a look at what we need to do to get this up and running. So um, this one assembly line, because uh, space, is, space is never a problem. Space is never going to be a problem. So we might as well build everything a bit apart because we could of course Built the next line of assemblers right over here, and that's going to be really tight uh, on the uh, uh, on the belts. It's going to be really, uh, really cozy. So I think we're going to skip one of these poles every time that we do this, just so we have some space. So let's do it. There we go. I think that will be enough. I think this will be too much actually. Uh, these one will produce the red potions so there we go i'll have some arms there we go we'll have some arms out now we need to um we need to trick the system into taking um copper belts on one side of the belt uh, copper plates i'm very sorry um Let's see, how do we go about doing that? So if we do this, right? We'll have copper on two sides of the belt. So uh, what we could do is do something like this. Right? Yes. All right, and then this will be just one side, which is great. And then we could have, of course, uh, a tunnel. Oh, this is going to be great. We could have a tunnel going from here to here. Which will contain the... There we go. Uh, this will be doubled up, which is not the best. Because this will now... Yeah, this, this, is, not, this is not the method. We do need them on there, uh, but we need them to go on one side of there. So we need this to turn around. Yeah, got it. We need to do it like this. And like so. There we go. Now it's on one side and it will stay on one side forever. Now, these will need to make the red potions. So, shift right click to copy, shift left click to apply. These will make red potions now. These will go onto a belt, which we've run out of. Let's make a couple of these. We've got plenty of materials, so uh, that should be easy. And these red potions will need to go onto a science lab. So we could, of course, make an assembly line for science labs. But we will need to feed into there as well. So we might want to do it somewhere very far down the line. This lab is still uh, pondering how to automate things. That's going to be fine. This chest is going to be full in no time. Uh, we still need to double up on the iron. That's what we were doing last episode, if you remember. So let's do that. We'll have two of those and then one pull. There we go. So it's going to be a tight fit, like this. There we go. And we'll have two more, just to be sure. All right, so we need some long-handed inserters for the actual iron. And some short-handed ones. There we go. Nice and easy. 
And there we go. That's uh, it's done. Let's uh, let's just pick something uh, like uh, logistics. We we could get the fast transport belts. That's fine. Uh, we'll get some optics first, so we can see what we're doing at night. Um, so yeah, we need to double up on this coal, I believe, because we need we need a bit of a buffer. I believe if I do this, it will be done already. Yeah, look at that. Easy peasy. And this will need to extract the iron, of course. Put it on a belt, and you know what? We'll take it straight to here. It's going to be fine. So we need some more arms. We can do that. We can do arms. Just a couple. There we go. Iron production is up again. So now we should get an excess overload uh, on this belt, which is going to be great. Uh, and then we can remove this one to double up. So we can double up on this belt, so there's always an excess of... Um, Always excess amount of iron on this belt. Look at that. Easy. Very nice, actually. Um, let's get rid of this coal and this iron that we have. We don't really want to hold on to it. And we also have a lot of copper on our hands, which we probably need to get rid of somewhere. Um... We don't really have a dump chest. We should have a dump chest, but I don't really like putting down a dump chest somewhere. <sighs> Such a dilemma. We'll put it here in the forest. This is going to be our dump chest. If we ever have too much of anything, I'll just put it in here. We can fill this up, almost fill this up with copper. Grab a couple of stacks. Alright, so that's... Uh, you know what? We'll do it. We'll do it even better. We'll do it one up. We'll have an excess chest of copper, and we'll put it on the main line. We'll put it here. Um, yeah, here will be fine, I guess. No, because there's no power over there. Uh, here will be fine. And we'll just do it like this. So if we ever run out of copper, it will be able to grab it from here. Look at that. Smart. Um, we've got the potions now, which is great. Um... What do we do with them? <laughs> uh, this is a, this is a bit of a problem because we need to pick up some of these. There we go. Now it's uh, now it's equal and it will stay equal like this. Great. Uh, so what are we going to do with these potions? We need to route them somewhere, uh, and it would it, I would prefer it personally if they were along here, but there's a, a bit of a, a lack of space. Especially since there's all this jazz down here. Uh, we could do the labs this way on a sideway assembly belt, basically. But we can also do it here. We don't need to. We don't really need to route the potions all the way around. You know what? We're uh, we're gonna do it here. We're gonna do the main science line down here, and we'll have uh, ten labs, and we'll just automate everything that we need to research. So let's grab this lab. Let's get rid of it. How are we doing on the power? We're, um, click on any uh, any old electrical cable to find out how your power is doing. Uh, we are satisfying everything and our production is limited because uh, it's um, stopped dead in its tracks by uh, um, because uh, how, do, how do I explain this? Uh, these will uh, not produce any energy when there's no energy needed. They're smart like that. So uh, it stopped, basically, by demand. There's no demand for power, so we don't produce any more power. There we go. We'll do this trick as well to double it up. Very easy trick to do. Just get this going. Get some coal on the lines. Uh, labs. We need to create some labs. For which we need some copper, which we have. We have a lot of copper. Let's uh, grab it from the stack. So we can now build five labs. 
That's crazy. Um, so let's grab a line. Let's put it right here. And might as well get rid of some of these trees. I don't know how far we want this to go, but it might be very beneficial to get rid of some of this. Yeah, uh, for now, let's just focus on the optics. Let's, uh, let's get some labs together. Let's put one lab over here. There we go, we're creating 50, uh, 50 of these electronic circuits, which we might want to automate in the nearby future, just like transport belts and inserters. Right, so we might want to make some steel axes. That will be really good, actually. We'll, uh, we'll wait with the steel axes for now. Let's get some labs going first, and let's uh, automate some science. So where do we want this belt of science to go? Um, we could do it outwards and have uh, the science belts going that way. I think that I think that's a very nice, very nice solution actually. We'll uh, we'll have them going outwards. Why not? There we go. Let's put the labs right next to each other. And for now, this will do because we don't really need all that much, uh, all that much red science at the moment. We might need some later, but that's problems for later on. So let's uh, do it like this. Let's get rid of that. Put it down. And I believe that we can just do it like this. Yeah, that will be fine. All the way to here. We need some more of these inserter arms, which we can do. They will take gear wheels, so I'll just grab some of the uh, some of the gear wheels here. Grab some iron. There we go. Let's make about 50 of these arms because we are going to need a lot of them. There we go. Now everything that's just red potions will be very easily automated right now. So let's, uh, let's take a look at something like turrets. Let's research it and just take a look at the time it takes to get through this research. Now that's no time at all. Just look at it. <laughs> Goes like crazy. With with a very minimal setup, I might add. This is not something something big. Alright, let's do walls. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Alright, um, so we've got some iron set up. We've got we've got a lot of plates now. This is uh, this is going to satisfy us for a long, long time. Um, let's see what else can we do. Which is what is just red? Um, military, military research. We might want some better weapons because we might run into aliens later on. Uh, also, we are probably going to need some more power very soon because we're adding a lot of strain on the system by doing these labs. Um, so let's get seven more boilers and five more um, five more furnaces. Let's, uh, let's see. What else do we get? Military two? No. Bullet damage. There we go. Let's grab a stack of this so we can make some more boilers. And we want some more steam engines for which we need plates. Iron plates. Luckily, we've got a shit ton of iron plates. There we go. Belt is emptied. And now we can get five steam engines to double up on our power production. Eventually, we'll go, uh, we'll go green and just have power production in the form of... There we go. Uh, just in the form of 
uh, solar panels, but for now, we'll do it like this. We'll also get some burner inserters because we don't really need electric inserters over here. Now, I do believe that burner inserters will produce a little bit of pollution, but nothing to worry about, I believe. There we go. These are in. Now we need the burner inserters. All seven of them. There we go. These will feed themselves first and then the boilers. And this will have performance. There we go. A lot of performance available and we are now far above our required satisfaction. And this is as easily, um, just, just in case you're wondering, this will be a very nice and easy way of producing power early on. Oh, we're uh, running low on, on potions at the moment, probably because we nicked the entire iron supplies. But look at that, we're creating a... Uh, oh no, they're actually, uh, they're actually filling up. We've actually got a backlog of red potions, red science vials. Amazing stuff. All right, uh, we've got optics, so let's make some lamps. They will produce, uh, oh, sorry, not produce, they will consume um, some power. But we'll be, we'll be fine with the loss of some power. That's, uh, that's no, no problem. Let's put lamps on the last slot. Let's get, away. Let's get this chest away. Yeah, let's do something like this. Let's have the... Uh, we, we don't really want any of the old furnaces here. Uh, we can upgrade the steel furnaces if we want to. I believe. But that's... Uh, where is it? Steel furnaces are along... Oh, this is only, uh, only green science. We can do that easily. There we go. Advanced material processing. Which needs stone brick and steel plates. That will give us the uh, steel furnace, which is a lot better. Uh, we might want to work towards that. So now that we have uh, the power, we can put down some lamps. And I'll put down lamps every two poles, because we don't really want to, uh, to spam everything. Uh, we might want to do one right next to here as well. You know what? We'll, uh, we'll move them up just a bit. Because we don't need one every uh, every block, because that's going to be a bit of overkill. I think that will be nice. Let's put them right below uh, each and every pole. There we go. So another one over there. Yeah, that's going to be that's going to be great. Look at that. We have illuminated the um, the actual uh, assembly line, which is great. And we might want to illuminate uh, the rest as well, but I don't really know if that's necessary. We'll put one down here, and we'll put one down here. Just a couple, you know, just to keep it uh, to keep it lit a bit. There we go. Put one down over here, and one down over here. I think that is illuminated enough. We don't really need all that much jazz. Right, so let's grab some coal and let's put it in this burner mining drill just to get more stone. There we go. Um, what's this? Bullet shooting speed. Sure. Fill you up with some more coal. Uh, let's take a look at what we can craft in military now. Uh, we have a submachine gun and a shotgun. Uh, I believe I do want a submachine gun. Let's put it in here instead. We can't drop stuff on the floor. That's a that's a bit of a, a bit of a bummer if you ask me. I mean, why couldn't we not drop shit on the floor? Uh, also, we have a radar um, which will actively reveal areas around it. Uh, we don't have a radar yet, so let's build one. I think we'll do with just one radar. I think that will be fine. There we go. Uh, also, some more bullets. So I believe that all we have to do to shoot is hold space, 
and it will automatically uh, go to the first target available. So that's nice. Um, so yeah, this is this is uh, the main line. I really like it uh, already. It's not too big, it's not too small either. And uh, we can expand upon this easily. Uh, if we add more red potion uh, machines over here, which we don't really seem to need at the moment, but if we do, uh, we can just move this line along as well, or create a new line, why not? And with all the space available, we have uh, the options to tweak. Because we're going to be probably doing a lot of tweaking. Uh, does this need another two of these assemblers for now? I don't think so for now. I think this is fine. We'll, uh, we'll keep it at that. Alright, so let's take a look at the tech tree. Uh, we, we need basic armor, gun turret damage, uh, no shotgun shell shooting speeds, shotgun shell damage. Bullet shooting speeds, yeah. We're not very, we're not done yet with the red science, but we do need to actually upgrade and get on the green science. To do that, though, we're going to need to cut a bit of a forest. So let me uh, let me get started on that. And I also see that we've already reached around a twenty-minute mark on this episode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this forest away, uh, make some. Make some dents in the uh, in the landscape. There we go, and uh, we'll be back uh, next episode. I'm going to do this off camera because this is going to take ages. There we go. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. And as I said, I really love the comments. I really love the fact that you're looking forward to this series. I'm looking forward to it as well. So um, yeah, let's have this adventure together. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all again next time. Have a great day.